Prologue Gabriel Bellman One year before his fight against the Lords of Shadow Hello and welcome everyone! Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon and welcome to Castlevania Mirror of Fate. This is like a sequel to Lords of Shadow and yeah, we're gonna play through this. I never played anything in the world of Lords of Shadow after the original Lords of Shadow. So I don't know what the crud's going on with this or Lords of Shadow 2, but I'm interested to figuring out what is going on. Also, this is more of a side-scrolling game again. I can't do anything as of just yet. But I'm curious. Also, how is everyone doing? So far, we're just really cool walking around. Okay. That's a head. Nice head. Also, you can see that this was not made for a big console like the PlayStation or uh, what was it at this point? Wii? Wii U? Okay, press X, direct attacks, Y for area attacks, A to jump. Okay. Okay, so it's still, it's still the same as it was beforehand, just in a 2D sense. Can I combine my stuff still? Okay, I lost two of my soldiers there. Okay, I still have that. Nice. Okay, so I still have... Um, okay, I can still... So I still have the same... Uh, left. Okay, I still have essentially the same things to go for as I had before. Bonk. There you go. So I, I have combos, I have some cool techniques, I can dodge roll, I can block. You murdered all my people. There probably is something that you get if you don't let everyone die. My assumption is I I wonder if there's also some sort of perfect block. Sorry that I had every one of you dying. It's kind of a quick jump into the game, which I'm not necessarily complaining about. It's just well fast and a lot. Hi. I try to block in sync with the attack. Okay, so there is still a perfect block in here. And we also still have that. Grapple. Okay, so we still have perfect blocks. We still have some nice uh, synchronous uh, takeout attacks. There you go. And come over here. Can still execute enemies, so I'm okay. We have, as of yet, 
still to get uh, a health bar, so... I'm not too concerned about anything at this point. Also, we're playing this on normal mode. I did not want to start this on any harder difficulty, seeing how I never played the game. Hi. You look cool. You could have at least given me that as a quick time event I want to say again, but I mean, sure. Ow! Guess I'm fine. Is this the best the pathetic Brotherhood of Light can say? <laughs> I'm fine, I guess. Okay. What was that ability when we played the original game? Is it like a Pokeball? Can I summon the thing now? Like I choose you! Weird gargoyle-esque thing? Like I have no idea what just happened. Meanwhile... Sure. Hi! Okay. You have seen it, Marie. The mirror has shown you Gabriel's fate. You must protect the child from his father. Trevor and his lineage will be the only ones capable of facing him in the future. Your son's survival is the only hope for humanity. We will come for him at nightfall. I think I get what's going on, but it's weird. And so it was that Trevor Belmont, son of Gabriel and Marie Belmont, was taken from his mother's arms as a baby and raised in secret by the Brotherhood of Light. A, sec a secret Marie would take to her grave, Gabriel never knowing that he had a son by her. Although Gabriel later defeated the dreaded Lords of Shadow, Gabriel fell into darkness as foretold, becoming Dracula. Now atop his co uh, colossal mountain fortress, he delivers his war upon the Brotherhood and mankind. Does he? Trevor grew to, m grew to manhood, oblivious of his true lineage and had a son of his own, Simon Belmont. Our tale begins here, many years later, for it is through the son of Trevor Bellman that the deeds and courage of the father can be revealed and the tragic fate of the Bellman clan laid bare. I had to read this a lot faster than dramatically than as I wanted because it was scrolling by itself and you know how I feel about scrolling text. Act 1. Simon Bellman. 57 years later... Okay. Okay. Run, Simon, don't stop. I won't. The lichens. Sorry, horse. Didn't mean to startle you there. The pacing seems weird. It moves really quickly. Cursed vi We start with a cursed village. But yeah, it, it moves really quickly. Now we have health. Still have the same moveset. Okay. Oh, 
So it's like that. Oh, interesting. There's a lot going on here. All of these things that we can do. Okay. Well, no problem. I can learn. Wait, can I take out the... No, I cannot. Shame. I mean... I want to point out... It moves weirdly quickly. I don't know why. Uh, you just earn some experience. Increase your experience level and unlock new skills by killing enemies. That's something that I like. I love leveling up my character. So this is a little bit more back to form of how Castlevania used to be. Do I have to take all of them out or are they infinite? Oh, wait. It was stunned for a moment. But this is more back into how everything is because... Wait. Hold left stick. Ah, to just make it appear or disappear my minimap. No, I want to have that. So we have a map again, we can see what the crowd's going on everywhere. So this is kind of fun. It's a health phone used to recover health life, okay? Right trigger. Well, if you don't lose health, you don't need to recover health, I guess. Oh, what? How far do you let me? Okay. Okay, you let me actually go up there. I just wanna see. No. There's a lot to learn in this game still. Before we do anything, what is that? Oh, we still have fallen knights and scrolls and whatnot. It was the elderly, then the man, woman and children, until there was not a single person left standing. Not long after the tombstone began to move, and uh, neither the hard oak wood nor the heavy stone of their graves could prevent the return of the dead to the world of the living. Collect dead night scrolls to also increase your experience. I... Interesting. So, dead night scrolls equal uh, you gain health. Got it. So far, I'm... You look like you have an axe in your face. Want me to assist you with that? You know, game, you could give me some sort of, you know, QTEs. I wouldn't be too upset with that. You have obtained a throwing axe. Be to throw it. Oh, okay, so I have, I have some sub-weapons. I just used a good chunk of them, but whatever. Gonna take all of you out because I, oh. Dup, dup, dup. Somehow, I would love to get the finishers because they're always fun to do but somehow I just end up exploding them that was a sad one it just kind of fell over the bowels can be broken with your main weapon okay don't need to stop me like that oh, what's that some of the drop them uh, then drop ammunition for a second so that's ammunition for my second okay cool I'm learning here today, as are you probably. Castle Other Wall. So that was just a straightforward thing. I think we got everything there. Okay. I'm just gonna use it. I don't think I got hurt at all, but whatever. Oh, what do you hold? As we cross the bridge, the chain magnets begin to turn. Quickly withdrawing the platform we were standing on. Luckily, I had the reflex reflexes to jump back in time and watch as the rest of my company tumble to the abyss. You are a nice person. I mean, okay.
There goes the drawbridge. This place really interesting so far. Let's see how smooth it will get as we move on. My objective has been updated. Um, look down, LA. Uh, I'd like to do stuff with A if I can. As long as you don't just fall to your death if I jump over the edge. So climbing is still a thing and a viable thing at that. I wanna... Okay, nothing there. Shame, but whatever. Hi there. Hi. Got all of you. I'm looking forward to getting my first level up because I'm curious to see what that entails, really. Uh, Repel and swing points can be used with Simon's current weapon. This would be a good place to access the map and leave a note. Can't be accessed, okay. I can leave notes. Well then, let's go. Uh, I am here, objective. Um, with X. Here. Note. I guess I left a note there. I'm not sure though. We'll see if I come back for everything. I realized too late that I needed a combat cross to reach that platform. Now with my back broken from the fall, all I can do is await death. My corpse will serve as a warning for others. Do not enter this evil place without the right equipment. But I'm a cheater. Um. Okay, hold on. Did it just lose health from that? Interesting. I can hover for a short moment in air. That is weird. Anyway. Don't fall down. I did not see that there was no place to go on. This is curious. I mean, probably you can skip some stuff if you do this correctly. Hi? That's... Ah. Can I also dive? Oh. Oxygen. Wait, oxygen. I know that there's something above me. But there's also something. I did not think we're gonna do secret stuff so quickly here. Centuries ago, pilgrims created this underground route to worship the spirit of a woman who... who it, uh, of, a sp of a woman who it was claimed had the power of healing. That's a weird sentence, but whatever. The tunnels they traveled through seeking health and good fortune now seem to be the only access into the castle. I'm getting closer to the level up, so I'm happy about that. I'm not losing more oxygen just by swimming faster, so that's at least nice. We have found the beast cherry card. Look for others scattered around. Um, East Cherry card. Oh, I have my throwing axe there. Nice. Mm, just stuff there. Zombie. If I need some zombie screenshots for whatever reason, that's gonna be a nice thing to have. Just gonna point that out there. Let's just have a quick look around here. Nothing else? 
Well, I guess I'm happy that I fell into the water. So I got those things. Just finishing out the map where I can. You know, I love forgotten caves. I love forgotten caves. I love just finishing up stuff. I think I'm still not hurt, but I take it anyway. We're close to a level up though. Come on. Hi. I don't need to be level up. I don't need to be uh caught with what the heck I'm doing. I can just go in there and whip at you from a distance. And gotcha. Okay, first of all, we got a level up. We had just one deal with a level up. Or can I not deal with it while there's enemies around? That might also be the case. No. It's just dead inventory. Okay. Nothing there. That's just... Oh, that's stuff that I unlock. Um... Well, I, I got a level up. I don't know what it does. Oh, okay. I do not want to fall down there necessarily. Down. Well, there's just a fish there that wants to eat my face. Always a fan of stuff trying to eat my face, though. Okay. Well, you're not good at hitting me, and I... got all of the info that I needed. And that is... that there's nothing for me down there. Ah, I can grab ropes as well. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Maximum amount of health increased. I'm happy, but the fact that I'm such a vigilant looker for stuff that could be useful for me. Whee! Whee! Nice. Okay, I still want to point out, it's still... It plays a little bit weird. But not in a bad way. It just... I can't, under I can't understand how... Coming from uh, Lords of Shadow into this, you wouldn't be uh, too hot on the dead control scheme. Because it does not feel as smooth. There's lots of shadow has, which is weird. But then... Okay, I cannot get up there yet, so... We're gonna go in there. Uh, X... Uh, place a note. Welp. And we left a note there. Can't do anything with that yet. I can fall down though. That nearly didn't do anything. Interesting. Up. Over. Up this. Uh, health, I guess. I wonder right now whether or not I'm going to correct way. Well, times two, I would say. I can't get up to that. Let's see if I can't do anything of interest here. Uh, can't be used right now. Come back later. I'm. I think I did the right thing and went the correct path. 
Help! Hi there! Who the hell are you? Stand aside! What sorcery is this? No! No! Show me more, damn it! It's not enough. I need to see more. That's the battle cross my father carried. Is it still in the castle? I am here to avenge the death of my parents. I mean to end the evil that rules here. Will you stand in my way? I need to recover that weapon. Will you help me find it? All right, we're... Damn it! I'm gonna say it again, the pacing feels a little bit weird. You cannot pass through this deadly waterfall with your current abilities. Yep, that just hurts. That hurts good. So I can't do anything with that though. Only first time we took damage. Nice, right? This is so incredibly weird. I am not really have. I don't really have the time for you. I'm. I'm. Uh. Whoop. In case I can crawl forward faster, still can't do anything with that. Up as we go. I don't want to touch green water. You know, in general, maybe not the most help healthy thing to want to touch. Down we go. There's more stuff around here. Enemies. Something bigger. Weird gem. Hi. Oh, hi. Should I be concerned in any way or am I fine? Hi. Um, did I get double jump? You have found the spirit of Belnada. Oh. Thanks. The spirit will help Simon block enemy attacks. However, every successful block consumes magic. Kill enemies to collect magic orbs and replenish your magic energy. Enemy killed with your magic active will not drop any magic orbs. Okay. Whoop. Ow. I just want to point out I don't need anything to block attacks right now. Like, what is going on here that requires me to do anything like that let's be totally honest how seriously how did you get that there you go okay i could not grapple you for some reason it's okay though i unlocked a new skill which is nice i don't know in what way i unlocked a unlocked new skill but just have a look a uh, woman of the Belnades clan have dedicated their lives to devoutly serving Mother Church and because of this dedication we are blessed with magical abilities to heal and protect. After death the spirit of each female Belnades was allowed to endure and give protection to whomever should need it. Using the power Simon can avoid danger that would otherwise be impossible to overcome and unknown to him the spirit and love of his mother aids him in his quest. Cool. I can stomp down now. So every level up I get, I just get new stuff in here. Fast recover, whatever. Direct attack and just more combos. I was hoping there would be more of a skill tree kind of thing, but 
Oh, oh, like that. Not gonna lie, I was really hoping I would get to choose my abilities other than just getting them handed to me, but guess I'm fine with just getting whatever the game wants to give me. Anyway, I think that is good enough of a point to leave the first episode here. I'm curious to see how the pacing will go forward because at the moment I'm not a fan of how uh, it's like thing happens go thing happens go it is because it's a little bit too fast gameplay seems fun seems fine I was hoping with having a level up system I would get a skill tree uh, skill points or something to do a little bit more by myself which does not seem to be the case which is something I think is a little bit of a shame because I love customizing a character for like the needs that I mostly have but whatever, let's just go forward and see how this plays out. Again, this is my first time playing it. I don't want to be too harsh on it. And I also don't hold uh, how much I like uh, Lords of the Treasure against that game. Because it is different in a vein again. And let's just see how it goes. It plays a little bit more. It looks a little bit more like your classic Castle Royale games. Which are some that I really love. So if I get a little bit more into that mindset, maybe I get really into it. The only problem that I really have with it right now is the pacing, but let's see how that improves over the game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the first episode, and I hope to see all of you next time. Bye!